Several portions of the country inundated with water and with the heavy streams flowing down to the river valley, the media was hosted by the Belize Defense Force in getting an aerial view of the affected areas. We embarked from the Williamson hangar near the airport and boarded a multi-engine aircraft. Captains Glenn and Correa were our guides as we headed to our first location in Belmopan. From our vantage point, there was an abundance of brown and murky waters desperately seeking an outlet as it invades the various districts and villages. In the Belize district, water surrounded homes and multiple other structures. On the approach to highlands of Belmopan, however, minimal to little effect was seen as dry lands dominated this view. After some housekeeping in the capital city, we ascended once more to head further west. Upon the departure from Belmopan, all seemed intact. The vegetation appeared dry and green, but a few miles further up were the effects of the remnants of Hurricane Eta became evident. The murky waters were seen flowing in all directions, trying to find its way out regardless of what or who occupies the area. In, far, in the far west, the waters at the Chalila Dam rages downstream as authorities were forced to open the dam to relieve the pressure of the overspill. The waters head down to the Mopan River, causing major flooding along the way as it flows into the Belize River behind the Valley of Peace area and into the Belize River Valley. Nemo officials are anticipating the continuous rise in water levels over the next few days with severe impacts on the Belize River Valley. Reporting for Love News, I am Alicia Valentine.